Tech. What is it? No, you can't get up here, but you can look. This is Toby Cat. He is curious. He wants to know what's going on up here. He smells his paint. What do you think, huh? You want to work on the model? Huh? You don't? Okay, well, I'll put you down. Here we go. He's a good cat. Curious. Okay, moving on. We've got the side panels to do. This looks a little tricky. I think I'm going to get my gloves really painted this time. Okay, here. You can see a steering wheel and a dashboard. And it uh, looks like a gear shift. Assembly that would be the steering wheel column with the gear shift, and then looks like uh, other uh, seat parts, which actually are going to be brown. But that's okay. We can paint over the yellow as long as we get all the detail parts that we want yellow, yellow. And I'm going to paint the outside of this bucket yellow because when it goes inside the truck, I don't want any bare plastic to show. Okay. All right. I, I hope that was on camera. All right, so here we go. We're on our last uh, plastic tree of parts to be painted yellow. We're gonna zoom back out. I'm doing this with my head so I can see where I am. Okay, and here we go. I don't want any of the raw plastic color showing through. At any time, we can touch up the interior parts that are yellow with black or brown, silver, red, whatever, to make it really look detailed like you see in a finely painted model. That's exactly what we're doing. Okay, so now the next step in this process I'm going to put this down right here to dry. Uh, wait a minute, I forgot this, this has to dry. So I'm going to prop it up with a stick on paper. Oops, it's done. What's called a holiday? This, this is the bottom of the pickup bed. These are the two side panels. They could be black at a later date, or I could paint them yellow. Uh, I think I will do that. Uh, no, I think I'll go right now, I'll go with uh, brown on this only, and then paint these, take this off, and then paint these yellow. Okay, and now, the yellow paint first. Give it a good shake. Shaking the brown paint, it's only got it open. Shaking the brown paint, this is the bed of the pickup in the back, the back of the pickup from the floor. It's the floor of the bed. And it, we want it to be brown. Here we go. Okay, now I'm just going to set it down. Hope I got that on camera. Looks like I did. And uh, now I'll stop the camera. And now I think all the rest of the painting that needs to be done in this model is going to have to be done with small paint brushes and small bottles of paint, one piece at a time. And that's, hope I'll figure out a way to do that and videotape that. One of the nice things about that is we can do that indoors because we're not going to be spraying paint. We spill it, we can have a work surface that's covered and we won't make a mess so mom won't get it down on us about that. So that's a nice thing. This was outdoor work. It looks like we were successful in getting all the parts the color we wanted. I'm going to leave these to dry for the rest of the afternoon until it gets dark. We don't want dew falling on it or wind blowing dust on it, but that's not happening right now. So we've got at least an hour, maybe two, where this can just sit out here and dry and cure. 
then uh, we'll be a long ways into assembling this model because now we've custom painted all the parts we need to to make this look uh, unique and different than the way anybody else would make it.